I'm going to tell you something you have never known before now. You remember the last picture we worked on together? You played a, a character part? I had to sweat blood. Stayed up all night with the writers getting them to change a stereotype mammy role into something decent for you. And when you got through, damn it, it was still a mammy part. Character part. <laughs> Let me tell you about them character parts. All this weird work, I'm so distressed. I don't know what to do. Always distressed and don't know a damn thing to do. It's about my son. He a good boy, but he got notions that's going to get him in trouble. Our sons always got notions that they as good as anybody else. And we always asking the white folks we work for to change their mind for them. We got husbands, too. You may not see them, but you hear about them in these character parts. <laughs> I don't know why I stays with that man. He won't work. He won't come home. I don't know why I loves him. Guess it cause it keep me laughing all the time. You ever hear of a lazy, no good, two-timing man keeping a woman laughing all the time? Character part. A little baby in my arms. You my little angel. And just like I raised your mama, I'm gonna raise you to be a little lady. Dear little baby of the folk I work for, I got a present for you. My whole damn life. I'm handing it over to you, your ma, and your pa. And if you got no money to pay me, I want to stay anyhow. My pleasure is to wait on you forever to hell with my children. And who right for you? Staying up night, fixing up character parts with me, giving you what you call dignity. Dignity. You know what your dignity is. A little black straw hat with a flower sticking up in front, hands folded across my stomach, saying the same damn fool things. Only nice and easy and proper. I know it's none of my business, Mrs. Sanders, but I just got to say it. You haven't been yourself lately, and it grieves me to see you eating your heart out about Mr. John. I try to pretend I don't see it, but I do. It's almost more than the body could stand. I am sorry you have had to play maid, but it is not my fault. What you call me? 